I've just received some of these AOMWAY, A-O-M-W-A-Y antennas from SurveilZone.com and um, I uh, wanted to share my impression of them with you. Uh, I normally fly this kind of antenna, uh, also from SurveilZone or many other places, uh, and it's got this really uh, fl flimsy, <laughs> is one way to put it, uh, cable, coax cable. And they're not, they're not bad. In fact, their performance as an antenna is just fine, but boy, they are, they are not very durable. Sometimes I'll have one last a couple months before, usually what happens is that the, uh, the, the coax sort of breaks. It just gets bent so many times from the copter falling on it. Uh, sometimes it breaks right here at the, the base. It just, the metal cuts into the coax and, and cuts it. Um, sometimes it just wears out wherever it's been bending from the copter falling on it and stuff. So I thought I would give these a try. Uh, they are far more robust. One thing they've got going for them is the cable itself is thick and stiff. You can see as I, actually you can see if you look right down here at the base that it's really just, it's bending the uh, carbon fiber plate. Uh, it's so stiff and likewise it's pretty stiff. I'm not sure if it is the uh, the sort of memory coax that you can bend into shape. I don't actually like that stuff very much because I think it, it fails, it wears through and fails pretty easily. So, so I'm not really interested in bending them. I'd like them to stay straight and stiff and stay the way they are. Um, and they have this uh, plastic uh, jig, if you will, up here at the top, which it actually looks like it's going to do a surprisingly good job of... Uh, of protecting the antenna, even though this wire is exposed, it protects two of the four or two of the three sides of each of the leaves of the petals of the clover leaf. So it's holding here and it's holding there. This one is exposed and, and so sure there's a fair chance that it could get bashed, but it, it's protected from many common kinds of bashings. So it's not impossible that it'll get bashed, but it's not bad. Um, and when you compare them, these ones on Surveil Zone are about five bucks a piece, and uh, these ones are fifteen bucks for a set of two. So not that much difference in price, and I could easily see this working out good enough that it more than makes up for it. Let me see if I can just show you. Like what happens is I'll crash, and the copter will land upside down, and it'll crush the antenna. But that. See, not a problem. My focus is a problem. <laughs> See, it's completely resting. That's pretty good, huh? Okay, so um, check those out, surveilzone.com. I, uh, I haven't flown with them yet. Uh, no, that, that's not true. I've flown with them. I haven't crashed them very much yet, and I certainly haven't flown with them for like a month or two months to see how they hold up. But I'll tell you, these ones... You know, I've broken these. One unlucky crash, I broke one of these 20 minutes after installing it. You know, so it's just a crapshoot how you're going to do with these. And, uh, you know, five bucks a piece, that's, that's not a lot, but it's not nothing. Um, so I, I hope that there's a very good chance that these will last much longer and be well worth the price. Uh, we shall see. That's all for now.